Hey y'all, I'm Ryan. Welcome to the channel. Coming at you with a with a real short one. Should be really short. Just to show you this new uh, node that I made to reformat your videos from horizontal uh, to vertical format for short form content. I found myself needing to do this. Found it to be very, very annoying to figure out how to use um, video editing software. I'm trying to keep the production value of this channel very, very low. So. To that end, I have simply developed another new custom node. So you, let's go over it. I'll start at the beginning here. We load a video, this horizontal video, simply feed it to this node. I've chosen to upscale the output by 1.5 and then here's the result. Okay, so there's a few things that we can go over here, like scale factor. Let's increase that to 1.5, you'll see what it does. Uh, there's a few others here that are relevant, like blur amount. If you choose blur as the background type, you can affect that with the blur amount. There's also border, mirror, gradient, pixelate, and waves. And some of those are controlled by the effect strength, but those are all alternate background types. I'm using blur right now. So here is with a scale factor of 1.5. You can see that it's zoomed in and cropped the edges out. It, which works really well in this case with our centered subject. Okay, that is it. If all you need to do is to just quickly make a, a horizontal video into a vertical one, this is all you need. But for a characteristically overcomplicated solution, let's go over here to the right. And of course, like all of the other nodes in my node suite, I've made this one feature reactive. So not only am I have I set up audio here to make the the background effect audio reactive, but also motion, brightness, and time. And these are just four, uh, but there are many feature sources that I have not included here, all exposed by my node suite. So that's what these optional features uh, inputs are for and what all these other parameters are for. So like all the other flex features nodes in my suite, and there are many now, 100 and something, two, almost 200 maybe. Um, you select the parameter that you want to modulate. In this case, I've chosen blur amount. So the feature input, like the drums that I'm using right now, will modulate the amount that it is blurred. And uh, it, simple as that. It's as simple as that. So uh, maximum blur amount of 100, and I've chosen absolute. This is what it looks like. And I've made it extreme on purpose to demonstrate what, what it can do here, but this is one that I might actually use. And you know, it's it, sure, it's overcomplicated, but why not? If you've got an audio reactive video, like I do of this smiley face, and you're about to put out a short, like why not enhance it with more audio reactivity is what I was thinking. So I hope you found this useful. Um, again, just to keep it real simple, this is all you need. You can disable all this other stuff if, if you're just trying to make a, a, a vertical video for yourself. Please check out uh, the other videos I have available. There's some more complicated ones with audio reactivity and motion reactivity, etc. in Comfy UI. Feel free to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, check out the GitHub, give me a star, blah, 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 blah. I've been Ryan. Bye-bye.